What's up, everybody? Kevin Bruin here, eating a banana. Pit rocket scientist. We're post workout right now. Just had a great buy and try session and then some cardio. I think I'm gonna go find myself a nice burger. The counter is kind of feeling pretty good. Need some need some post workout protein to match some of the carbs. So we go to the counter. Yeah. All right, so before I dive into this thing like crazy, I gotta show you what it looks like. There it is. Oh, yeah. All right, you're going away, time to eat. All right, guys, what's up? So that burger was amazing, and I'm like, you know what? I drive by this place, the Museum of Flying, like every time I come down to the Mecca. So I'm like, you know what? I got nothing to do this afternoon. Let's go check it out. We got planes all around. I love this kind of stuff. I used to go to air shows a whole lot. Uh, I haven't, there aren't really any air shows that I found out here. So I don't know where they are. This is the best I got. I'm super excited to get inside. I, uh, I brought my NASA badge. Maybe I'll get a discount. That would be sweet. Let's go check this out. What's up guys? Alright, so I'm going to be doing a flight simulator in this museum of flying too. I got my man behind the camera hooked me up with a free ride. What's your name again, bud? Uh, Satchel. Satchel. Thank you, Satchel. So I'm going to be flying a World War II Corsair. Um, I'm going to flip the shit out of this, so I'm really excited. <laughs> That's good. Alright, that was fantastic. That's what I was in right there, flying the plane. You can see I'm sweating. I was doing flips, going over. Whew, it is hard to control that thing, man. I was, I, I didn't shoot down one plane. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't save my buddies. <laughs> so this is what uh, we're looking like inside. We got planes all over the place. We got replicas of the Wright Brothers plane. Like this is so cool. So the EAA is going on in Oshkosh right now. That's the Experimental Aircraft Association. It's their air venture. It's the busiest airport in the world for this week um, right now. And that's, you know, right next to the hometown. Uh, it's Wisconsin, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. So since I'm not there and not able to go in and enjoy all that stuff, I gotta come here to get my airplane fix. So they got some really cool stuff in here. Show you some of the, the neat models. That is the SR-71 Blackbird. The thing goes like Mach 5, it's insane. Maybe even Mach 7. Um, super sweet. This is, this is what got me into space, was planes and October sky, just seeing all that stuff was it's so cool what you can do you can fly around all these planes so i'm going to check out some other stuff here and learn because always got to increase your mind and that's what i'm doing here is to learn more stuff because there's so much history with planes and aerospace and how we've gone from no flight to flight to going to outer space to sending stuff out past pluto to out of this solar system you know so it's really great to see where everything started get the roots and get a true appreciation for the technology advancement and development that has led us to where we are today and the stuff that I'm working on is going to lead to even more um, amazing stuff in the future. So someday the stuff that I'm working on could be in a museum like this. It would be really sweet. Alright, let's, let's drop some, some, some knowledge on you here. So this, this is a wind tunnel. Right, let's check it out. That's what it is. So this is how we test airplanes and even spaceships. We do stuff like this to see how they're going to react. So what you do is you put a model in here, this is a really small one, but you put a model in there, and what you're doing is you're inciting airflow. So fan in here takes in the air, pushes the model, or pushes the air past the model going here, and we can put measurement devices and such to see how the air acts over the model on the top, and then it comes out here at the end. So you see the little diagram, you get the airflow coming in, you push the little model here, we can angle it up, down, we can spin it left and right, see how it reacts. We can see the wind speeds and then the stuff that's coming out in the back end. So yeah, I guess in this one, the propeller is back here, which is drawing the air through that way. Other ones we have, some of them are full circles, that the air just keeps on circulating. Other ones are just, they have a fan over here that's blowing in. This one has the propeller in the back to suck the air through that way. So that's how we do some testing for some planes. So some of you guys ask, you know, why can't I be an astronaut or do you want to be an astronaut? And uh, one of the height restrictions is 6'2 for pilots because of this reason right here. So I'm in this guy, I'm in a trainer. Um, I barely fit in this thing. I am so squished and tiny. I can't get my arm too far away, but 
Yeah, and the, the trainers they have for the shuttle, or like the, the astronaut pilots are even smaller than this, is the trainers. So I'm trying to see them like, oh, you know, I could, I could maybe do this, it'd be very, very uncomfortable, but I could fit. It's like, I know it's not a cock, but I'm <laughs> just having fun. Oh. All right, I'm having too much fun here. This is awesome. I'm in another pilot seat. Look, this is the plane that actually sticks out the side of the building. So I see cars coming, and I'm flying this plane out here. This is so cool. So this is a FedEx, I think, cargo transporter plane. It's Boeing 727. But look at me. I'm steering. I'm flying. I'm a pilot. Yeah. So that is in the car. It's one of these days. Um, I'll actually start taking flying lessons. I just need uh, the time and the money, which I don't have either of. And if I have the time, I usually don't have the money. And if you have the money, you don't have the time. So, uh, eventually it will happen. I don't know when. I gotta, I gotta set a date for it. That's probably, you know, something 15 years out. I've got some other goals I want to accomplish first. But it's sweet to get up in the air. I mean, this is a commercial jet, so I won't be flying one of these guys. But actually be up in the air and be in control. So I'm going to flip this around show you guys all of these knobs and dials, everything before we went fully electronic. Um, but we still have a lot of this stuff. But just look how many different things there are in here. So cool. Let's go faster. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be playing with all this stuff, but shh, we're having a good time. All right, that was amazing. I had a lot of fun. So the last thing I want to show you guys is the Blue Angels. Yeah, so the Blue Angels are a series of, I think it's five or six F-16s. It's got two inlets, one on each side, with a single engine exhaust in the back. So that's what it is. So these are, um, gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like air show planes. So they do formation flying, they do some really cool shows, and I have never seen them. And I've been to, I don't know, 10 air shows, and the two that the Blue Angels were supposed to fly at, one, I don't remember, I don't really remember what happened, but the second one is that they were supposed to fly at and didn't, they got grounded like two weeks before for flying too close to the crowd, so they violated some rules and they grounded them, so I've never seen these guys actually perform. I've been able to see the Thunderbirds, which are F-16s as well, but the Blue Angels do some really, really cool formation flying. Uh, one of these days, I will see this guy. Uh, see these guys up in the air very cool and for some reason in my head I'm questioning that the Blue Angels are F-18s I've been out of the fighter jet world for a couple years but I thought that they were actually they might be F-18s man I'm gonna have to look this up I feel bad I saw it sometimes I don't know everything I get stuff confused in my mind there's so much stuff going in here um, so it might be actually be an F-18 Wow Oh, this is uh, all the education. Um, I didn't specifically learn this stuff. It's well been self-taught, so we can't blame it on that. Um, yeah, so not at the EAA right now. EAA and Oshkosh. Um, really cool event. Can't be there, so I gotta get my airplane fixed in somehow. So that right there, just seeing this gets the airplane fixed in. Now, I'm gonna go up and touch it. It says, it says do not touch the aircraft. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so as you can see behind me, that is yogurt land. Yep, I stopped to get some. So I walk in, first thing I ask is like, hey, got a question for you. Do you have any of that like almond milk made froyo? I'm like, no, no, we don't. I'm like nothing in non-dairy? Like, oh, yep, we do. We have uh, rock pop, rocket pop shorebert and pink lemonade shorebert. It's so, like the rocket popsicles. So that's what I got here. So take a look. We got the pink lemonade on one side, rocket pop on the other, and inside there is yes, I threw on some kiwi, some fruity pebbles, sprinkled granola, and some sour gummy worms. So I am going to enjoy the crap out of this. It is eight carbs per ounce. So I got 10 ounces. It was 10.1. So that's 80 carbs for this thing here. No proteins, fat free, don't have any of that. So that is going to fit within my macros because I have 121 grams of carbs to go. And in that is like 80 grams of sugar that I haven't had yet either. So it's like perfect. So I'm gonna go home, enjoy this, and um, just chill out and relax. Had a great day. Time to reset the mind. Uh, you know, just been a little bit stressful at work. So I'm just gonna chill out and enjoy.